What can I do for me that I can't do for myself? One, a serious long-term relationship that eventually turned into marriage in the future, taking my time now, weirdos, no creeps, please do not come in my butt, talk about sex, you will be in hoard. <sighs> Swipe left. Without fail, every single time I log into Facebook, I get this message. Try out a dating profile. Now, personally, I've heard about Facebook dating here or there, but I see it as a sign that I need to try this out, given the fact I see it every single time I've logged in. And you guys know that I like to do dating app profile reviews for different dating apps. Um, I've done BOK, I've done Cheesebub, of course, I've done Tinder. And now finally, we're gonna try out Facebook dating. So if you're excited, go ahead, subscribe, like the video. And if you're new here, my name is Austin Dunham. I do quite a bit of these videos testing out different dating apps and seeing uh, the quality of women on there and just overall the usage and systems and how it kind of relates to the other dating apps out there. So if you're interested or curious in online dating, definitely be sure to subscribe. And lastly, be sure to check out all the links down below to where I can actually help you present yourself in the best light on dating apps, including social media. And that's through my Digital Romeo Mentorship. All links will be down below, but without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm starting from the very beginning process, guys, because I literally have never used Facebook dating ever. So we're gonna start from the very beginning, all right? Welcome, Austin. Find love through what you like. We won't suggest current Facebook friends within your dating or notify them that you joined. All right, so we kind of incognito. I like that, let's get started. A space for dating. We won't suggest, oh, okay, I already know that. Let's start building your dating profile. Your dating profile is visible to, to anyone in dating. This information is based on your Facebook profile. Any changes you make here won't affect what they appear. All right, so first name Austin, age 26, gender man, hometown. Let's exit out of that. Job title, let's remove all of this stuff. We're gonna remove everything about us. <laughs> Who do I wanna date? Women. Guys, you guys always say that I say women wrong. I'm gonna address this here right now. Sometimes I don't know if I'm saying woman or women, but I try to say women, but it's just hard for me to like literally pronounce that. So now, now you know, if you ever hear me say woman when it's supposed to be women, it's an accident, guys. Trust me, I know I'm making the mistake. Women. All right, where are you dating? Dating uses location services. All right, yeah, we in Orlando. Let's get it. How tall are you? See, this is what I like to call disqualifiers. See, disqualifiers are already happening. We're gonna skip that. Do it, I have kids, we're gonna skip. What's your education level? I'll say college degree. So you wanna put anything that's gonna make you look in the best light, right? What's your best photo? All right, this is my current um, profile picture. We'll go with that. But I would definitely wanna add more. Who can view my dating profile? Dating is better when we play by the rules. Be true to you. Any photo with or information. All right, so no catfishing, got it. No, there's a person behind the profile. Yes, follow your instincts, put safety first, got it. Come on, man, I'm the digital Romeo. I know how this works. Let's get it. All right, so first things first, they only added one picture. We definitely gotta add more pictures to our profile, so let's go ahead and do that. And we gotta make our profile more attractive by adding the intro and prompts. So really quickly, I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll show you guys after. All right, guys, I set up my full profile now. It didn't take too long. Right now, I'm gonna show you the pictures that I decided to use. So I actually decided to change my first picture to this one with the red. I've noticed colors with red, especially on dating apps, tend to gather more attention um, versus any neutral colors. So a little pro tip for you right there. And then the bio, you guys already know I can't show that. That's reserved for my Patreon members. Link will be down below but we definitely about to bait some replies off that bio 100%. I added my degree, as you guys already saw, and these are the other pictures I decided to use. So we did get a shirtless picture in there, but mostly it's casual, just casual. So remember, you gotta think of your pictures like marketing. Whatever pictures you decide to post is the person you're gonna attract. So if you're looking more for like hookups and stuff like that, if you post a lot of like sexually attractive pictures, shirtless pictures, you're gonna attract those type of women. If you mostly post like casual pictures like how I did, you might attract more serious women. It's all marketing, guys. This is literally marketing yourself, all right? So these are the pictures I decided to use. The profile is now set up. I did not add any disqualifiers into my profile, meaning my height, meaning my preference of what I'm looking for. Never add in stuff like that. All right, so now off to the fun part. We're gonna see the actual setup and like the quality of women on here. So it looks like we got our profile section, we got liked you section. 
All right, when people like you, they'll show up here. I like that. And then we got our matches. Of course, I have no matches yet, but um, more to explore, secret crush, groups in common. So this very, very involved sort of dating app. The, the setup, I assume, is like a swiping system. Actually, I can't swipe. So it looks like a clicking system. All right, so now I'm at the actual tab of the swiping. This is what it looks like, right? So you can scroll up and down. Um, yeah, we're gonna swipe left. Uh, we're gonna swipe left. We're gonna swipe left. We're gonna swipe left. We're gonna swipe left. We're gonna. Okay, we're gonna swipe right. Um, this quality is reminding me of BLK. I'm not sure if Facebook is purposely doing that, but this is um interesting. <laughs> Megan27, not here for sex. Not here for sex. She's here to build serious relationships. Left, left, left. All right, we'll swipe right. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I think I'm just gonna have to swipe right on more women, even though so far I'm not finding a lot of them attractive or like my preference, right? So, and also, even though my location is in Orlando, it's showing me people that are located pretty far away, like Daytona Beach. That's quite a minute out, but we'll swipe right. Swipe left, swipe left. We'll swipe, we'll swipe right. Yeah, um, quality of women ain't there. Ain't gonna lie to you guys. This is, it's definitely showing me a lot of older women too is what I'm realizing. Uh, oh, let's read this, let's read this. Intelligence makes me fall in love. I am not interested in a good physique. She wants a dad bod. When there is nothing interesting to know in your mind. Okay, she doesn't want a meathead. Like somebody who has a good physique but isn't intelligent. I feel you. Chubby girl. Fun fact, guys. <laughs> Crazy story. On my Chad video, one of those girls we call Chubby, she found the video and tried to cancel me. You know who you are. And you know who you are, whoever sent that video to her. But I'm glad she is notifying that she is a chubby girl, at least. Take some, some accountability, just a little bit, right? I'm fat, don't expect a different body. <laughs> On women, we can be beautiful, we just need money for investment. Submissive, okay. You know what? Despite she's saying, I'm not interested in a good physique, that submissive, that call me, we'll swipe right. What the hell? Is but doodle bob? I am not a casual type of female, friends or partner only. Side note, don't be up here if we can't, bruh, swipe left. What can I do for me that I can't do for myself? One, a serious long-term relationship that eventually turned into marriage in the future, taking my time, not weirdos, no creeps, please do not come in my butt, talk about sex, you will be in horde. <sighs> swipe left. Guys, these women so far in here are older, seem to be privileged and seem to be very spiteful to some degree. Right? And here we got a, mo a single mom that's 24 with three kids. We're gonna swipe right. <laughs> Laura, 21, good tailor suits are just, all right. Let's, we swipe in right. I'm tired of this, bro. Swipe right. Because what makes it interesting is the reading the messages part. And I might have to do a part two. I might have to do a part two. So we're gonna swipe right for about 10 more seconds. Oh man, some of this is hurting me, bro. Some of this is hurting me. Some isn't though. I just wanna see how fast it's gonna be. So we'll see, I'm gonna have to come back later. All right, our next swipe right has to be a good one, guys. Has to be a good one. All right, no. Who's trying to take me to the casino? No, 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 no. I probably would not use this app like actually on my own time, guys. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, little snow bunny. Little snow bunny. All right, we'll swipe right on the snow bunny. All right, so here's how the main page looks once again. Like you, I'm curious to see what's gonna pop up here because it looks like there's no paid feature on Facebook dating versus other dating apps. It looks like in order to see the like you page, you have to pay to some degree to see it. But I don't see any pay feature. And then matches, still have no matches yet. But let's go to see the, what's the suggested matches? Oh, so the suggested matches are just the people on the page you already showed me? Okay, I guess so. All right, second look. Oh, she's cute though. So I guess these are people I swiped left on. 
that it's like, hey, are you sure you want to swipe left on these people? And my answer is, hell yeah. Yes, I did. Bam, and secret crush. So the app setup is actually very simple, guys. It's not um, that crazy distance from you within 50 miles. Actually, let's change this to 20 miles. And um, gender identity and what? Oh, okay, I thought that was saying I was a woman. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so the pro, wait, who's this? I see the thigh tattoo. Now listen, I gotta censor myself a little bit for YouTube. I can't fully talk the way I want to. That has to be on the Patreon, unfortunately, because as we see, left and right, people are getting canceled and, you know, RIP to my homie Andrew Tate. He didn't die, but he got canceled off all platforms. So ever since that's happening, I feel like I have to censor myself with the things I really wanna say. But just know, if you got a thigh tattoo, you guys should know what that means. So we're gonna hit that like button. All right guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna let a little bit of time pass and then hopefully we'll have some messages come in. Stay tuned. All right guys, it's been a few hours now. Let me go ahead and show you what is up. So first things first, I was swiping uh, when I turned off the camera and I reached my daily limit for likes. So I was not aware that Facebook has a daily limit for likes. But the issue is, and the issue why I don't like about this, is that there's no pay feature that I know of that makes you, you know, be able to do unlimited likes. So once you reach your um, swipes for the day, you have to wait until the next day. So let's take a look at our matches. Overall, I ended up getting around nine matches throughout the past few hours. And I actually got two messages. The first girl, she actually unsent her message and she said, like swipe and run or something, which is funny because that's literally what she did. So technically I got seven matches, no, eight matches, two messages. And as we see right here, London decided to match with me too. And she just sent like a wave. Uh, you can initiate a reply by sending a wave. I'll do one of my matches up here. Let's go ahead and do the first one, Genesis. All right, so as you see right here, we can click wave. Bam, and I guess I just sent a wave to somebody. I have no idea. So now let me give you my full review of Facebook dating because I'm gonna have to do a part two actually showing my messages because since it's only been a few hours, you know, it takes a while for matches and stuff to come in. But so far, as I was swiping, the thing I noticed once again is that it's a lot of older women, a lot of single moms, a lot of unattractive women on Facebook dating. I'm not gonna lie to you. Every now and then I would come across like, an eight, like someone who's decently attractive, but it was very far, few, and in between. It was like every 20 swipes, I'll come across like one girl who's like, okay. Um, so overall, I personally would not use Facebook dating. And in regards to the quality, it's about three out of 10. In regards to the usage of the features, I would say like a five out of 10 is very easy to use. However, I think Facebook should add a paid feature to where you can unlock more stuff and just make it better and try to increase the quality. So that's why I make these videos because you gotta realize if you're trying to find quality, you gotta use multiple dating apps to find the one that works best for you in your location. So some, some of you guys, Tinder might suck for you, but Hinge might be great. Some of you guys, Tinder might suck for you, but Facebook dating might be great. Like you never know, and that's why I do these videos. So stay tuned for part two. Go ahead, subscribe, like the video if you're interested and or you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out the Digital Romeo where I teach you how to build up your social media so that you can leverage your social proof, how to make yourself more attractive on dating profiles, and everything that I did to become an online dating master while leveling up at the same time. All the links will be down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.